Observing the mix of media used in different homes across the globe revealed three key consumer concepts discussed here. So we did this quantitative study with Frank Maggot and Associates earlier this year, and we really wanted to kind of take that quantitative data and see if we could back it up through actually viewing people in their homes and seeing how they're actually using these devices. So we did, we recently completed a global ethnography project um, with Anna Kira, who is a, who used to be a lead anthropologist at Microsoft. Um, so we went to seven different cities around the world, went to Chicago, LA, London, the Netherlands, Italy, and Korea, and observed families in their natural environment, in their homes. So we spent a day or two with them, just observing them, watching how they use devices, watching how they fit those devices into their lives. Or we're coming out with a couple interesting trends from that. So the first is this concept of TV unboxed. So what we noticed when people were saying, oh, we watch a lot of TV, they weren't necessarily referring to only live TV watching. They were referring to live TV watching, things that they had recorded, things that they're watching on Hulu, on their, um, on their iPad, um, and different things like that. So the definition of TV is much broader than what we may think it is. Um, the second concept was this notion of a big sister. So when you saw them interacting with different things online and saw them seeing how different ads were coming into their screen, they would say, sometimes it's really creepy when they know so much, they have so much data on me that they're targeting these ads. So there was one example that was really funny. Um, it was from a guy in LA. He was like, I was having a Facebook conversation with my friend about Bonobo's monkeys. And she was like, all of a sudden, the next time I went on Facebook, there was an ad for Bonobo's pants. He was like, I thought that was really weird. He was like, it's not relevant to me, and it's really creepy that they, they're reading my conversations. Um, but this concept of Big Sister is actually benevolent technology that understands where people are going and provides them the information that they're actually seeking out um, and tells them where to go, when to go, and how to do things online. So where should I go to purchase this car, or where should I, or where can I get more information about this auto? The third thing that we saw was this concept of the modern family. So now that everyone has different device, everybody has a smartphone, and all of the families that we observed, even children as young as, I think, 11 years old were getting their first smartphone. So now everybody has access to information at the touch of a finger. And what that does in the modern family is it kind of changes the dynamics. So instead of there being one decision maker for the household, there's now four or five, or however many people are in that household, all can get information and all contribute to that dialogue as to what they're gonna purchase and when they're going to purchase it.